Good evening and welcome to the South Patrick Drive or State Road 513 public meeting. My name is Sam Jumber and I am the project manager for the Florida Department of Transportation. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to explain proposed improvements to this section of South Patrick Drive and receive your input. There are many ways to provide feedback. The project team will respond to your questions and comments in writing and all written comments will become part of the public meeting record. I will now turn it over to our project team to begin the presentation. Thank you. Meeting information is being provided in multiple ways to allow the community to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person and virtually through GoToWebinar. The presentation is also available on the project webpage at www dot cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash four four eight seven nine two dash one for online participants in the go to webinar application you will see a set of icons in the top right corner of the menu bar click the questions icon where the red arrow is pointing to open the questions panel type your question into the field where the red arrow is now pointing to and hit send to submit your question or comment to project staff. To download documents about the project, click on the materials icon where the red arrow is pointing to open the documents panel. Inside are project files that can be viewed or downloaded. If joining GoToWebinar on your mobile device, click the questions icon at the bottom of your screen. This will open the questions panel where you can enter your question or comment into the field and hit send. Click the handouts icon at the bottom to open the documents panel where you will find project files to view and download. If you happen to experience a technical issue during this meeting, please type the issue in the questions box on the control panel on GoToWebinar or send an email to carolyn.fitzwilliam at dot.state.fl.us. You may also call 386-943-5215. Staff will do their best to assist you. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Melissa McKinney, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 501, Deland, Florida, 32720, by phone at 386 943-5077 or email melissa.mckinney at dot.state.fl.us. You may also contact Stefan Kulikowski, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Swanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450, by phone at 850-414- 4742 or email at stefan at dot.state.fl.us. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location, on the project website, and in the meeting notifications. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to explain the project goals, present the department's recommended improvements to help achieve those goals, and hear from the community about the proposed changes. This project is located in Brevard County on South Patrick Drive, also known as State Road 513. The project begins at Ugali Boulevard, State Road 518, and ends at Patrick Space Force Base. The Financial Project Identification Number, or FPID, for this project is 448792-1. The purpose of this project is to extend the life of the approximately 5.3 mile section of South Patrick Drive and enhance safety along the corridor 
by repaving the roadway. This section of South Patrick Drive was last paved in 2009. In addition to repaving the roadway, proposed improvements include reducing the width of the travel lanes to accommodate bicycle lanes where they do not already exist, reconstructing and extending curbs to slow traffic and enhance safety, and updating pedestrian curb ramps to meet current Americans with Disabilities Act or ADA standards. FDOT proposes narrowing travel lanes along this corridor to provide room for bicycle lanes where they do not already exist, as seen on this typical section or cross-section of South Patrick Drive from Banana River Drive to DeSoto Parkway. Another proposed improvement is the extension of curb returns along the corridor. A curb return refers to the radius of the curb, as shown in the diagram. Extending a curb in this way improves safety by slowing traffic and preventing cars from turning into the wrong lane. This improvement, as shown in this artist's rendering at Southeast Inwood Lane and South Patrick Drive, is planned for several curbs along the corridor. Curb extensions are proposed at O'Galley Boulevard, three entrances at the Public Shopping Center, Parkside Place, Indrio Boulevard, Inwood Lane South, and Anchor Drive. Reconstructing pedestrian curb ramps along the corridor to meet current ADA standards is also part of the scope of this project. Moving forward, the design of this project is in progress and anticipated to be complete in fall 2024 at an estimated cost of $2.8 million. The improvements on this project will be within the existing right-of-way. Construction for this project is funded for early 2025 with an estimated cost of $11.7 million. We encourage your input and feedback about this project and there are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record, and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by March 11, 2024, 11 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing. To submit a comment or question online, please type the comment or question in the question box on the GoToWebinar control panel. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 448792-1. You may also contact FDOT Project Manager Samuel Jumber directly by email at samuel.jumber at dot.state.fl.us or by U.S. mail at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, mail station 542, Deland, Florida, 32720. You may also call Mr. Jumber at 386 943-5244 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. To learn more about these projects, go to www.cflroads.com, type the project number 448792-1 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on these projects. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by Monday, March 11, 2024. Have a good evening.